Hello friends, Running Kimono here. We have yet another Dollar General clearance event, the sixth one this year. Oh my gosh. It's going to be starting on Friday uh, the 29th and uh, it's going to be pretty good. I got some freebies for you. Uh, first thing, if you have been doing these clearance events and you're a very seasoned uh, Dollar General shopper, skip ahead to this timestamp to get the deals. For all the rest of the shoppers, let's keep talking. So towards the 29th, we're going to start seeing these sort of signs at the store. Um, it's kind of up in the air. Is this going to be uh, a sale for four days, just the weekend or an entire week? It's been predicted two different dates, but I don't know if that was a typo. It is the Dollar General and it happens. But for this specific video, we're looking at items in the clearance section and items with these orange stickers that are known as the POG stuff. Okay, so the first two dates that are predicted, the first one was September the 29th to October the 5th, which is an entire week. They've never done that. And the second one that I've seen floating around is a four day starting on Friday the 29th, ending on Sunday the first. We will know on Monday the second if it's continuing into the next week. And uh, definitely we're looking again at this video for the cheap merchandise, the Clarence and Pog, to give you a quick example, a store that's at 50% off, an item that's a dollar today on Friday the 29th will be 50 cents once you scan it with the Dollar General app, an item that's 70% off will be 30 cents starting on that day, and I think last time more than $2,000 generals went 70, a lot of them. Quick pop quiz for you, this Crunch and Munch is 90 cents right now at a 50% off store. If you scan this on uh, Friday with the Dollar General app, it's going to be ringing up for 45 cents. So there you have that. 29 cents at a 70% off store. So uh, you're really going to have to pay attention where your store is at and is it worth your time, yes or no. I went to one store at 70% off right at 8 o'clock on Labor Day, the last time they had this sale, and I scored this entire table. I only had time to shop at one store, and my goodness gracious, with a bunch of store cards, this was totally worth my time. Um, so guys, if you look at the last many clearance events... This is our sixth one, and the last one we were given such short notice, and a lot of people were like, this is going to suck, this is going to suck, but look at the haul that I got. I'll link that video at the very end if you want to watch my haul. Sometimes when they put everything against you, stack that deck against you, that's when you can really make these deals happen, and that's exactly what happened to me at 8 o'clock in the morning on uh, Labor Day weekend. I always recommend that you go and scout your store, but because there's been so many clearance events lately, it might be really picked over. What I'm finding is that a lot of employees will pull out these gray totes and put them towards the front of the store, and that's what we're picking through for this clearance event. So again, my scouting, I didn't find very much, but those gray totes that start showing up on Friday, uh, that's where the best place to look. Definitely use the app on Friday the 29th, especially if you're trying to find a 70% off store. You'll be looking for things that are dropping in price significantly, such as that crunch in my... That would be 27 cents. You would definitely be on to something. Um, so definitely there's not a lot of overage in this video or for this uh, first wave of the sale. Updated stores, you're going to get stuff for free. At non-updated stores where you have a keypad and one receipt, you're going to get a tiny bit of overage. Um, so you really got to pay attention. What's the difference between updated and non-updated stores? But I think most of you know that if you're watching this video. If you could do me a huge kindness and give this video a big enthusiastic thumbs up. It takes a lot of time to get these slides together and just organize like what's a deal and what isn't a deal. I would be so, so grateful. And if you have not subscribed, if you want to subscribe, that would really make my day. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so we're going to just hop into the matchups with digital coupons. We're looking at 50% off deals because I think the majority of you will have that over 70. So the first is to look for these Febreze. It's like a plug with that oil in it. It's going to be a freebie no matter where you slice it or dice it. It's going to be like $2 and some change. And we have a $2.50 digital. So it either makes it free or a little bit of overage. There's this strawberry one, this gain one. Any Febreze plug that you see in the clearance section or in one of those gray bins, open up the Dollar General app and scan it. And you might be surprised what you find. Another uh, freebie um, will be this small spaces. Any small space on the clearance aisle, definitely scan. We have a $2.30 digital. 
free at updated stores, free in 95 cents of overage at non-updated stores. We also have this Downy Bliss um, at 50% off and the dollar digital coupon. It's going to be a buck 25. This is one of their more fancier um, fabric softeners if this is your thing. Be on the lookout for this guy. This is where it gets really interesting. This specific Lysol wipe um, is going to be possibly a total freebie or exceptionally cheap. Uh, we have a 75 cent cashback and a 50 cent digital. If you just want to grab one, it would be 82 cents. However, Ibotta also has a 75 cent rebate. It's very specific that you can't use coupons with. However, it just seems like sometimes they work together and you still get the Ibotta rebate. And that happened to me the last two times for clearance events. If you can find these at a 70% off store, and I know there's a ton of them at most stores, it's 95 cents. So grabbing four of them, it's 475. You'll pay that out of pocket. Ibotta is going to be giving you back 375, either the payment through Ibotta or one of those dollar general gift cards. And then also a 75 cent cashback, which you'll probably get. So it just makes it a really good deal. And if the digital attaches to, it's completely free. If not, it's 25 cents for five. So if I'm saying for you guys to try and find one of these 70% uh, off stores for a deal like this, this is where it's totally worth it. And these Lysol wipes are just on the regular cleaning aisle or on an end cap. I've been finding them everywhere. You only have a 50% off store, it'd be a buck 57. Follow this math. Uh, the final price point, if you do this exact deal, would be 287 for the five or 57 cents per Lysol wipe. Still a good deal. 70% off store is a little better, but here's the math um, if you only have a 50% off store. Okay, so this Mr. Clean Lavender, I found uh, like nine of them in a gray tote when I was messing around last uh, Labor Day weekend. 50 cent digital would be 220 at a 50% off store, a lot better at a 70% off store. Meh. We have these Belvita crackers. If you're diabetic, these are actually really good uh, to spike up your blood sugar at 50% off. And we have a 75 cent cashback. It would be $1.22 for this box. Blueberry one's a favorite. My mom loves it. She's also a diabetic. We have these Airborne, which is is a um, supplement. I don't know if it works or not. We have a $3 digital, so it'd be $1.95. With winter so close, I know a lot of you probably use these sort of supplements. And then we have this uh, Baby Bliss. It's some sort of like for babies. At 50% off and the $2 digital coupon, it would be a dollar two. And there was a whole bunch of those left at most stores. People were not interested in the last couple clearance events. And we have the Gold Bond. Sorry, my UPC is so... Um, out of focus, we have a $2 digital. It would drop this guy down to $1.92. And the head and shoulders, if you grab two of these for $5.85 and a $3 digital, you're paying $2.85 for the two conditioners. This is definitely magic in a bottle. Okay, so I'm going to call these honorable mentions because that's what they are. Um, this Anchor Hawking, um, it's like some sort of 2.4-quart uh, dish for $3.15. That's very cheap and it's a very quality glass uh, bowl. We have these Ninjamas for $3.75. Unfortunately, no digital, but maybe Sunday moving forward, something might show up. That's why you always need to check the app. We have the Crunch and Munch for $0.45. Cents. A lot of stores have these on end caps. Uh, it's been in clearance for a little bit. Hopefully you can find some. And this, um, it's like Biscuits and gravy and brown gravy for 45 cents. Uh, if you could find it, a very cheap item as well. And we have the summer scents uh, for Febreze, $1.45 for the single and $2.47 for the double pack. I really hope that they give us a digital coupon to go with this. I would love to get these all for free. We have the scrubbing bubbles for $1.75. Check Ibotta and the different rebate apps in case a rebate shows up. Spick and Span for $1.35. Lots of these were tucked into uh, those gray totes. I There was like nine and one, and I was like, uh, I wish I would have seen those earlier. <laughs> Or meat and potatoes, including the S.C. Johnson Fantastic for $1.47. You can have the cleanest um, shower with that. And these uh, damp rids, I bought a couple of those last time, uh, $2.12 a piece, not too bad at a 50% off store. Unfortunately, no digital for this guy, but we have a Swiffer XL for $8.32. If you wanted to throw him in with a Saturday 5 off 25 basket, perhaps that would be a way to look at it. And for the kiddos and to stock up on cheap Christmas toys, we have these different Lego sets, 
Not a lot of them moved the last uh, clearance event. So uh, especially if your store is at 70, you can get it for a lot cheaper. But an option, uh, you know, to look at uh, some of these toys. Uh, definitely open up that Dollar General app and scan, scan, scan. I'll leave a tutorial here how to do that. As always, guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.